Hi, Leo. <clears throat> this is Jeffrey. This is Red Color. This is your reading for how to write it down because otherwise I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Not that I don't know what I'm doing. I just, I get all carried away and it's like, who did I read for? What did I do? Anyway, this is the reading for uh, the week of May 23rd through the 30th. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I'm offering 30 minute readings for $30 through the end of May. Um, a line of astrology t-shirts and stickers. All the information for all those things is below. All right. I've been eating, so. You know, sometimes I've been eating dessert between all the readings and it's like, I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Mm, I'm really enjoying it. So I think part of the message for you is like, enjoy yourself, right? Just enjoy yourself. How's that? How's that? It's like, it's like, yeah, if the rest of the reading goes, goes down that other path, it's like, just turn me off. Just keep on coming back, put me on a loop. Enjoy yourself, enjoy yourself. <laughs> okay, let's see what's going on for you for the week, Leo. All right. Okay. Mm. Wow. All right. You got two biggies, two big boys. Wow. Okay. The high this is the card of Taurus. So the Hierophant is really about a higher knowledge. At the end of the day, it's really about a higher knowledge. Because this is the Pope. This is also about um, institutions. It's about like the law, it's about marriage, it's about government, um, ethics. Um, it could be corporation, uh, you know, anything that it's like that anything that's organized this because the understanding is that um cheers okay i got it whatever doesn't stand in love whatever whatever doesn't stand in understanding and nurturing and healing and kindness is going to fall it's going to fall out This is organization, like I said. This could be uh, a corporation. It could be, uh, it's managed, right? It's managed almost from a higher source. Because the understanding is as below, uh, as above, so below. So like the hierarchy of heaven comes through the mind of the Pope symbolically. And, and then it's, it's mirrored. It's almost like, I always see it like a stepped pyramid, right? So as above, so below, this is going to be my lousy, um, well, not lousy, but um, elemental drawing. I don't know. Okay. So it's a little bit like this, like this is heaven, this is earth. Here's the hierophant. So he has the understanding of the hierarchy, and then he's going to bring it down into earth right so that's ideal that's ideal this is why they build step pyramids that's what the ziggurat's about that's what you know organization is about mental facility being so right and five is change it's five and then on either side you have this you know he's so sweet this one He's like the idealist, like 
love you. I know we just met, but I love you and I want to give you a present. You know, he's very sweet. Kind of immature, but sweet. And here is some outside force coming in and saying no. So I feel like if there's an energy in your life and something's being organized and something other than love, nurturing, kindness, sweetness, um, fairness, um, coming from a space of love. If it's not coming from that place, it ain't long. It's gonna, uh, be no more. Let's just put it that way. So, you know, you get this, you know, not the most pleasant card I've ever seen. <clears throat> Here's the, the head, right? Here's the crown. Here's the crown. Zeus, right? Lightning, thunder. Zeus, blowing it up. These little numbers. So you see these in a few of the cards. This is the Yud. The Yud is the smallest and the most profound letter in um, the Hebrew alphabet. This is the Yud. Okay, it's usually, th this part is, you know, it's a 10. It's completion. It, yud is also um, yad, hand, like the hand, God. Interesting, hand, it's both. 10. It's the, it's the first letter in uh, the tetragrammaton, right? Like the God's name in Hebrew. It's the first letter in Ezekiel's name, in Jeremiah's name. And when you add a yud to um, uh, another word, it, it makes it holy. You know, it has power. All the Hebrew letters have power. So the yud, the smallest, and, and this completion thing, you know, and you see it in the card sometimes. This is like the seeds of something new the seeds of something new. Something, one thing has to be destroyed so that another thing can happen. So this is like, there are certain trees in the, I don't know which ones, so don't quote me, but there are certain, I think there are certain pine trees that are like in the Pacific Northwest, right? They need the forest fire in order to get hot enough so that the pine cone can blow up and like new stuff can come, you know, and you know, when if one big tree dies, right, then it opens up the forest for all these other trees to have a chance to do what they need, you know, to grow, because like now they're getting a light as well. Like that's the way things work. This is also like a kind of karmic card. Like it seems to have come from nowhere, but it's almost like you know, it, it's like these people who missed the flight that crashed. It's like, you didn't get the job or the relationship went sour right before the wedding. Like, so while it's happening, it's very unpleasant. But afterwards it'd be like, oh, oh. It seems catastrophic, but there's an order to it. There's an order to it. And I think what's trying to be uh, dissolved, so to say, or transformed is um, it's gotta be about love. If it's not about love, it's not gonna stand. That's my take. So. Observe it, do the best you can do in it. Know that all will work out the way it's supposed to. 
that's what I have to say. Blessings. <laughs>